Hello Health Devs! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are a new subscriber, you're welcome. I hope you stay. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. Today's video is going to be about things you need to know if you decide to move to the United States. This is for international students. However, this is going to be helpful to anybody at all who is, you know, trying to relocate from any part of the country to the United States. So if you are this person, please stick and stay and hopefully you're going to learn something out of this video. Enjoy. The first thing you need to know is if you have any money you want to come along with, change it to dollars, okay? Do not bring the money that you have over here thinking you're going to find a place to change it because you're not going to find any place to change that money. So if you want to come along with any money, please make sure you change the money from your currency to dollars so that when you come over here, you can use it. The second thing you need to know is if you are coming and you don't have family members or friends, you either need to arrange with someone to pick you up. So for international students, I know they have some your resources on campus where they can you know organize um, a bus or they can organize some you know they can just find somebody to pick you up literally that's what i'm trying to say so you can keep in touch with the office of international students to help arrange for somebody to pick you up from the airport that is if you don't have any family or friend who is willing to pick you up because if you decide to come without you know finding anybody to pick you up trust me you are going to be stranded plus you don't also have any money to you know pay for anybody to kind of drop you it will be really difficult. So if you decide to move to the United States, this is not even to just the United States. I feel like if you're just moving to any part of the country at all, you need to arrange for somebody to pick you up from the airport because you might really get stranded. And after taking this long flight, the last thing you really want to happen to you is get stranded. So if you decide to move to the United States or if you are deciding to move to any part of the country, it's either you have families to pick you up or you arrange with your school if you're an international student to pick you up from the airport so that you don't get stranded. The third thing you really need to know about before moving to the United States is you need to understand how credit score works. Yes, I feel like this is the least thing that is being spoken about when people are you know traveling to the United States because Personally, I didn't even know what credit score was until like I moved to the United States. So if you decide to move to the United States, you have to understand what credit score is or how credit score works. So you may ask, what is credit score? So credit score depicts the credit worthiness of a person. Basically, that is how lenders, you know, get to know if they can trust you with your money. If you know, even if they give the money to you, are you able to pay the money back on time? You know a lot of things if you guys want me to um kind of have a video explaining what credit score is let me know in the comment section and i will do my research and i will give you all the details that you need but it is very important for you to know how credit score works if you decide to move to the united states that's particular one goes to my international students if you are coming in as a student you need to know that you're eligible to work 20 hours per week on campus let me stress on it on campus you cannot work outside campus because it's a violation of the immigration law or the immigration policy so if you are an international student you can only work 20 hours on campus because that's all you can do and you cannot work off campus so that is one thing you need to know if you're moving in as an international student the next thing you need to know is the money that you are being paid for your job or the stipend that you're going to receive from your work is not going to be able to pay for your tuition. Let me show you it again. The part-time money or the stipend you're going to get from your you know, work or from any part-time work that you're doing will not be able to pay for your tuition. So if you have family members or if you have parents who are going to support you with your education then you are good but if you don't have anybody supporting you with with your education and you don't have any scholarship it will be really difficult for you to you know thrive on campus 
So just know that your part-time job or your, you know, any type of job at all you're doing on campus cannot be enough to pay for your tuition or your fees. So please know that. The next thing you need to know is about loneliness. This country can really make you lonely. <laughs> like I, trust me, you can really get lonely. If you're not the kind of person who is comfortable with her own company or his own company, it can really get lonely. So just know that over here, people are very independent. People mind their business, you know, people love their space. So if you're not that kind of person who is used to, you know, being by yourself or, you know, staying alone or minding your business, it's going to be difficult for you to stay here. However, you can decide to, you know, join a church and maybe join some clubs or organizations in church so that you can meet people and, you know, go for programs and go for some meetings. That way you cannot be, you know, you cannot feel so lonely. Or if you are, um, if you are uh, an extrovert, okay, if you're the type to, you know, talk, the type to, you know, be the first to approach people, then maybe you can try and make some friends that you can hang out with or, you know, do some stuff with. However, if you're an introvert, it will be difficult for you to, you know, find people to do stuff with. So just know that over here, loneliness is very key. You can really get lonely sometimes. So just learn how to love your own company. Just learn how to be by yourself. Just learn how to, you know, love yourself. Give yourself all the love you need because you deserve it, okay? The next thing you also need to know is, girl, if you can learn a skill, please do. If you can learn a skill for yourself, please do. What do I mean? If you can learn how to braid, if you can learn how to do your nails, if you can learn how to, you know, alter your stuff when they are big or when you, please learn how to do something, okay? Learn how to do something. If you're a guy, learn how to cut your own hair. Like, just learn something because over here, things are expensive. Think, and I'll come back to, I feel like that's one thing you need to know too. Things are expensive over here. <laughs> they didn't tell us, but things are expensive. So if you can learn a skill, it's going to help you. So that you can save some money, okay? Because girl or guy, <laughs> you need to save some money. So, and you need to live within your own means. You need to live within your own means. You need to cut your coat according to your cloth, not your size. According to the cloth that you have, that is what you need to do. So if you can learn a skill, I will, I will say it's going to help you. So yeah, the next thing, you need to know is things are very expensive over here okay things are very expensive over here so if you think you're coming in here and you know you'll be able to afford anything that you want girl you are deceiving yourself because things are expensive so you need to know that as well. another thing you really need to know is if you don't know how to drive please learn how to drive before you come over here mm -hmm. I feel like, yes, learn how to drive before you move to the United States because when you come here and you want to learn how to drive, obviously it's not free, you have to pay for it and it is expensive. And if you're an international student, you don't have the money. Like, you don't have the money. <laughs> Even if you do, I'm probably, sure, I'm probably sure you want to use that money for something else, but not to pay somebody to teach you how to drive. So if you can learn how to drive before you move to the United States, it's gonna help you a lot. So please do that before you move to the United States, okay? So one thing you need to know is you are going to be constantly asked, where are you from? Especially when you speak, because you know, we once you move here, your accent tends to change, okay? So you kind of have it, like you kind of um, develop a different accent and your accent is obviously going to be different from the american saying over here so please be, be ready to keep on answering people like they are gonna they're gonna ask you so many questions like oh hey they're good so this is how they're going to say oh hey you have an accent where are you from that's how they're going to ask you so please be prepared to be answering those questions a lot because they are going to be constantly asking you that and sometimes it can really get annoying 
when they keep asking you like where are you from or you have it so some people will also say oh wow i like your accent where are you from <laughs> they just want they just know that you are not from here because of how you speak and they just you know just want to verify yeah their thoughts or they just want to you know so they'll ask you <laughs> so just be prepared to be answering people those kind of questions also if you're an international student or if you're coming in as an international student please be prepared to face the educational system the educational system here is very rigorous it is very intensive like assignments back to back project works back to back group assignments back to back quizzes back to back there is no breathing space. If you're coming in as a graduate student, if you're coming in as a PhD student, please make up your mind that there's not going to be any sleep. No sleep, no sleep. School, library, work, that is going to be your lifestyle till like you get off of school. So just know that the education system here is very intensive and please be ready. Be ready to face it because it's, it's not easy, but by God's grace, you are going to overcome. You're going to do it. You've got this, okay? So guys, these are some of the things I think you need to know if you decide to move to the United States as an international student or if you're coming over here to, you know, work or, you know, to visit. You can pick one or two out of these, you know, things that I've shared with you. If you guys want me to do a part two of this video, let me know in the comment section and I will definitely do it. If you have watched this video till this point and you have not subscribed, I'm waiting for you to please hit the subscribe button, okay? Please hit the subscribe button and join the family, okay? Because over here, we share some beauty, we share some fashion, we share some story time. I give you some life update. I share like there's a little bit of everything on this channel. Please hit the subscribe button and join the family. Thank you so much for doing it. I really appreciate your support. This is the end of the video. I hope you learned something new. Let me know what stood out to you or let me know what you learned from what I just shared in the comment section and let me know what kind of videos or what kind of contents or if you have any um, particular thing you want me to talk about just let me know in the comment section and i will definitely do it for you guys thank you so much and i will see you all in my next video bye